I mean, they, there were still a few quote unquote major characters missing from Nitro Fuel. It just, mm. it just ran, Beanox just had to move on other things. Yeah. Yeah, like Call of Duty. No, they were also assisting on Crash 4. Right. I don't know, did you get you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we mentioned it earlier, but man, this music is really good. Yeah. I like it for just like being like unique it's for so, like, it's so, it's so Yeah, it's the only game in the series that has this. Well actually no, it has it the um was it the um, tag, team, well, tag, tag, team tag Team Racing has it as well. I don't hear people talking about that game soundtrack though. Same, it's still Spiral Mouth, but they had assistance from Mark Barrel. Mm. Like, yeah, because uh, it's, like, it's, like, it's not all just, it's not all acapella. Right. Like, uh, the deep sea driving track in Tag Team Racing is, is a banger. Mm. Yeah, I've never played Tag Team, so... It's okay. It seems interesting. Um, I mean, I enjoy it enough. It seems like they put more effort into everything besides the racing, though, from what I understand. You mean, like, the overworld? Yeah. Now, you know what would be useful right now? The sneak shoes. <laughs> good. Everyone's favorite Rafa Cortex. Oh, god. Have you already- Oh, wait, they have, have you... this animation? <laughs> and Rafa Cortex. The what? Are you already on Rafa Cortex for the channel? Yeah, that was three we, years ago. Yeah. Oh, that's pro honestly that I I remember that play for actually going fairly well. Like, how do I? Ugh! Okay. <laughs> yeah, I will say this: this game does do a lot of like um like TNT and Nitro um what should we call it? Not 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 necessarily like. Like, what is it, Rube Goldberg puzzles or whatever, but it's, um, like, chain reaction kind of things a lot. Oh, here we go. What's he doing? I mean, he's probably holding his brain, isn't he? Or... Well, I mean, mean, I think apparently he got it back in his head. You heard them. They want Just to destroy our off screen. Island. Sucked it through a straw. <laughs> off screen magic. And they, they did throw it back to him, so. Living in harmony with Mother Nature, the noble boar, the humble bumblebee. Ah! <laughs> this. I love this song, by the way. <laughs> yeah, remember back when I think it was, I think it was like you, Scrappy, that was like uh, you mentioned this in like the Galaxy playthrough. Well, here we are. Yeah, I mean, this is. I died a lot. Or rather, Cortex died a lot in this segment, so I had to see that cutscene a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this game doesn't really have, like, a slow moment, really. It's kind of just, um, you start the game and, like, immediately just get into, like, the crazy platforming stuff. Yeah, this is basically just a series of gags as a game. Yeah, it, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't really slow down at any point. <laughs> So like, yeah, if you like this kind of stuff, then Queen Sanity is great. Yeah, Cortex dies in one hit, so be careful. Yeah, he does. Just make sure you're always like a step ahead of him. This is like one of the only escort missions I could tolerate. One yeah, more later. because it's basically a uh, glorified obstacle course. Um, like this is, yeah. <laughs> Can I just jump that? Yeah. Hurry up, hurry up. Hey, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about the bear. Yeah. 
it doesn't matter any more time to the situation. It just makes it funny. <laughs> yeah, it's like one of those things where you keep adding more and more things, and he gets like dangerously close as well. Oh gosh, imagine he dropped it on the bear. Yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah, he just goes for it. Uh. We should be near the end now. The bear just stopped, by the way. Yeah, he just kind of gives up. The explosion scared him all. Probably the cure of his beast, by the way. So the cortex just run in a circle. <laughs> no, he just totally toss away. <laughs> yeah. God, when it's so dark, I can't I can't tell what's a pit and what's safe. <laughs> Crash really is the Dark Souls of platformers, Harry. Yeah, look at this. I can't see anything. <laughs> Man. Uh, uh, case in point. Yeah, imagine they made you do that whole chase over again. That would suck. This game no, does Arium not have. Sting. This game doesn't have the most generous checkpoints. I'll just point that out. Um, the way this game, as you get a game over, like um, the game has like save point crates, and you'll go back to the like these ones here. You'll go back to these if you die or game over rather, um, and. Sometimes the game is there is not very generous with where with how often it places them. Um because I Hey, how about stealth now? Yeah, stealth. Ah uh, yes, that's how you know it's a PS2 game. Yeah. God, I didn't yeah, I didn't realize until now, just like Sometimes when you LP games, it puts things into into perspective. But like, I never realized how fast-paced this game like introduced mechanics to you. I imagine there would have been like more downtime if they had gotten to kind of do everything properly. Probably. Question, what happens when it see? What happens if they see you? They shoot like a bunch of spears at you or something. And it's an instant kill. Yep. Or I can just fall into the water. Or you can just drown. Okay. That works too. I can show it, I guess. I mean, you when don't you have realize, to. Yep. <laughs> and like barely any of those actually hit me. <laughs> when you realize this game thinks you suck because they always give you pity math. Yeah. Um, I think I don't think it, I don't think it's gonna work. Uh. Hmm? Oh gosh, I was putting the tree that hit the the tribesman. That would have been pretty good. <laughs> Oh, come on. That didn't even hit me. <laughs> Crash was like, he was fine. He was blinking. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, there, there probably would have been more downtime if they had time to actually finish <laughs> the game, but... Like, a lot... If you don't know about, like, this game's cut content, I definitely recommend looking up videos and stuff, because the kind of things that were supposed to be here are absolutely wild. Camera? I, uh, I don't. I don't feel about that. I'm not feeling this one. Yeah, nice. Just have to leg it. Duck. Oh. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Duck in the wait, boat. Wait. Wait. Yeah, you need to duck in the boat. I mean, I can see that. legit. The the dude should be able to see you from a distance without the binoculars. Yeah, I don't know how he can't see us. I know game logic, but still. Yeah. Hey, probably nothing. <laughs> nope, just yeah. the wind. I guess they just have a. I guess they just have like a mutual agreement. If I can't see you at a very specific angle, even if I know you're there, I will not try to kill you. <laughs> it's the. It's the law of the Duck. tribe or something. Duck. Finally, you can spin the boars. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Even though I'm like right below you. <laughs> Even though I attacked a bunch of animals and made noise. Yeah. So, nope. The invisible, the invisible, the invisible boar killer. Yeah. Listen, I don't know what caused it, so it didn't happen. 
These guys are- okay, these guys with the spears can actually be pretty dangerous. You need to be very careful of how you, like, handle these guys. I mean, especially because you don't have your map. Yeah, because it's very easy for these guys to just kind of nip you, if you will. Can you even jump on enemies in this game? Uh, I don't know. You. You're not gonna go out to the gym? Well, this is- it, I don't think this is- is this the way to go? It looks like the way to go. Because I think- oh, wait, what? Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, I was thinking of like something else. What is music? I'm not even gonna I bother. To <laughs> Ooh, back, crash go four, you have to bother. <laughs> and then there's we get to skip some rocks. Or cry. Oh god. I mean, this, this is the a, hard part. Yeah, this was a life killer. I mean, a life drainer. Yeah, like, this is a good example of no uh, drop shadow. Like, you can see your shadow, like, under the ocean, but, like, it's hard to tell where you're gonna land on the box. Okay, great. Now go back. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I feel Camera, so Camera hates it when you double jump. Yeah, I will say this. A lot of the, um,. Uh, a lot of challenge does come from trying to get some of the gems, because there's a lot of, like, specific puzzles you have to do to get them. And, and, and most of them are do or- and a good part of them are do or die. Yeah. By the way, one of the best songs in the game. Oh, right, yeah, for, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wonder, if it's, I wonder if that's the, the, no, is that another crystal or the one we already have? I'll be another crystal. Cause it makes it, oh good. It, it'll be funny if they just took the crystal and just- <laughs> The song is really good. Yeah. Although, the thing is, uh, internet co- uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> What'd you say, Jason? Memes ruin the song because all I can see right now is a stormtrooper humping. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm pretty. Th this game, uh, th this game didn't invent this song. I'm pretty sure it's like a song that already exists. Well, but... the song itself, no duh, but yeah. <laughs> but the, yeah. but but I'm pretty sure like that version is ripped from this. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure, but I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> this is pretty much the. Uh... For a good while, this is pretty much like the only, this like Crash Bash, like the only non Naughty Dog Crash games that have to get like fan remixes on YouTube. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Although I will, I will say this, um, <laughs> Rival Cortex definitely needs more love in terms of its soundtrack because I, um, I don't hear enough people talking about it. No, I've heard, yeah, you know, I've heard the, you show me a lot of the music and it's just like, damn. I. I legitimately think it's the best uh, soundtrack. In, it's the best uh, soundtrack in the series. Well, every song is unique, so that helps. It's not even just that, but like the songs themselves are just bangers. Yes, even the um, Avalanche me music. I guess uh, <laughs> it's a me. What? Oh, the the da 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 um, but yeah, I guess, um, uh, Rough, Rough Cortex, um, uh, It's About Time has, um, a couple of things to, uh, um, thank Rough Cortex for. Two, two of those being each level have a unique, having a unique music track, and also have some levels having, uh, plot, pop, pa uh, platformer pop vehicle, so. What are those... Are these things supposed to be, like, mutated worms? I guess. And we landed right here. Yeah. By the way, you missed the gem. Yeah, that's fine. This one is supposed to be, like, going across the buildings, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and now, and now chase section. This is a crash game, so we gotta have a chase sequence. They just muttered bullshit gibberish, didn't they? 
<laughs> Get my socks! <laughs> yeah. It's, um... I don't think this one is... I don't remember this one being particularly hard, but, um... Okay, it's the, not Rusty the Walrus. I... yeah. Later... especially later on. Um, this game probably has the hardest chase sequences in the series, and not always for the best reasons. Because <laughs> you can barely see what you was coming. Like, let me rephrase that. You can you barely see what's uh, what you what you what's coming up uh, sometimes. How long have we been recording? Not long even a, for me to get hungry. Not even an hour. <laughs> really? Yeah. And this is also uh, <laughs> keeping into uh, account like um, the fact that we had the issues earlier, and it's still not been an hour. <laughs> but yeah, from my from my remember, this game basically um, has like four areas, and like um, oh, like four main areas, and you do like a bunch of um, like levels within those areas, um, and that's it, basically. <laughs> so we get, go through Insanity Island, then we go to, like, the oh, ice. Crash. Okay. The farmer's market is tomorrow, and my Wumpa oh, this bit is really good. This is great. My orchard is riddled with greedy worms. If you rid my land of these pests, I'll give you this power crystal. <laughs> I'm an evil scientist. What do you expect? This isn't a game. Lol. <laughs> and he's like... He's like twitching. He's still alive. Yeah, he's just twitching. Chicken Teddy! But we, gotta, but we gotta do this anyways. Yeah. Whack-a-mole. Or whack-a-worm, I guess. Oh, I didn't realize that sounds dirty. Was. <laughs> I mean, it's not like this is hard. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's not really meant to be. Like, they're just coming up to get hit. They're just chilling. They're not even doing anything. This and way. they turn into trees, apparently. Yeah. They freed the trees. It's the orchard. Yeah, they just pop up. I'll be honest, I'm surprised the farmer didn't have a hitbox. Yeah, I, I do know some versions of the game, like, have... NPCs like that just have hitboxes. <laughs> Why this guy? I tell you, you boys have been doing swell. Just swell. Anyhow, we've been taking in the sights <clears throat> of Insanity Island here. Nice digs. So much to see. So much to destroy. You got the native village. Who voices the evil twins anyways? <laughs> I don't know. I it's Quentin Flynn. Yeah. Uh, both, by both. Wait, wait, what? Wait, Quentin Flynn's- wait, Quentin Flynn is both of them? As far as I know, yes. Hmm. Oh, I can hear Quentin Flynn actually in one of them now, actually. <laughs> like, when he- It's like, yeah, I, yeah, I get it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly as if they're alive. Oh Sound effect! Okay. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> This is an example of a boss that's cut more uh, <laughs> miss than hit because, from what I understand, you can just kind of hold right and win. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna hold right this entire fight, and you'll see what I mean. But like you just had kind of have to wait it, wait it out. But eventually, you'll just do that. You just throw Cortex in there. Cortex. Cortex, is, Cortex is done. <laughs> yeah, he's just over here. He actually looks like he was retching or something. Yeah. I think it's gut. Stone. <laughs> yeah, this is a thing. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, this boss, Chikimon, are 
Are they supposed to be like a creation of the evil twins, or like uh, are they like a guardian deity of the natives? I assume that they just brought the thing to life. Is that what I'm going to do? Yeah, it's a cool. Uh, in theory, this is a cool boss, but like the fact that you can just kind of do this is uh, not great. <laughs> Get ready to catch him. <laughs> Yeah, and it, otherwise it kind of just takes forever. Cortex, stop being dead weight. Yeah. I mean, he's running a little bit. No, he's also deliberately skidding as if. Yeah. Like, like Cortex, he's you will die first. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> deliberately trying to like get the crystal off of you. So. I know, but I part of his right, part of his animation is so long run. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, when you stand still, he doesn't even bother trying. Yeah. Well, you gave it your best shot. But even now, our vice versa reverse the device is in operation. Sucking yeah, that's Quentin Flynn. <laughs> and leaving behind the worst of all possible worlds. We just like making a mess. See you around, losers! <laughs> Time yet. Tenth dimension. Yes, yes. In the dark ocean of my intellect swims a magnificent. Uh. Give it a sec. Give it a sec. <laughs> Hang on. Screen's capping that one. This is good. Crashes as confused as the rest of us. <laughs> The fuck? <laughs> Hang on. This is just the rest of the playthrough. Honestly, with the way the cutscenes are widescreen, I'm wondering why they don't have subtitles. Yeah. Um. <laughs> My ears. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You can um when the. Okay. Um. <laughs> what the hell was that? We're just having a day, okay? Um, also, don't Harry, touch this I, I, guy. Th this guy still has hurt books. <laughs> that's very weird. Uh, Harry, I'd recommend saving now before something else happens. Yeah. <laughs> I'm almost tempted to say we should stop sooner or later. <laughs> I do need to eat. God, this is a disaster. <laughs> Man. Besides that, at least the game didn't break for a good while. You say that now. Maybe turn off the auto save. I'm not turning off the auto save. Are you crazy? What if it crashes in the middle of an auto save? Well, it'll be the same thing as like if I saved manually. Okay, fine. Sorry, it's, I, I'm, I'm having bad flashbacks to my uh, what's it called to my crash tech to crash you racing. Oh, well, I mean... Shouldn't have, like... I mean, I'd hope so, it wouldn't give us a, a problem. So, yeah, the, you're, you've made it farther in this game than I ever have now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I can yeah. These, yeah, these guys seem a little un annoying. They can be, yeah. You have to be... The, my best advice I can give is, uh... For the most part, it's, you're better off like jumping and then spinning, so like you like get away from their spear as much as possible. It's you're not really it's not really in your best interest to like run like run straight at them. Could you slide? I their don't. Spears I, are too low. I think. I guess you could try, but I feel like that. Okay. <laughs> oh. I, I I feel like that will probably just get you killed. Wait, how come- how is that bird on the top of the nitro and not dying from it? Uh, Magic. Yeah. Nah. Uh. Oh, there's a bad man out here. It's weird that the barrel yeah. can actually- Come onto my boat, furry man. I can take you to the other place. Is, is there- I'm guessing there's a- like a- 
like a tribesman there. I will, yeah. I will take you to your destiny. Probably a lot, uh, yeah, it's like, <sighs> probably, an, yeah, probably another instance of cut content. <laughs> Call a furry man. Yeah. Rather than just have Crunch be the one to do this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, by the way, um, that cameo for the birthday party, that's the last we'll see of Crunch in this game. <laughs> the last thing you'll see a bunch of those characters. Yeah, just a bunch of cameos. Like some of those guys will show up again, but like, only only like like two or three of them. <laughs> yeah, well, nice. Let's <laughs> wait. Oh, yeah. Okay, if it does that again, I think we can call it a day. Fair enough. We. Uh, it seems like we can at least like power through this, but like it's not gonna be great. <laughs> I don't want to power through it. I'm already feeling woozy. <laughs> this is a. Uh, I'm not sure what was making this LP. Uh, excuse me. At least that didn't take oh. too long. <laughs> I think we're done. Oh man. We are coming up to the uh, Rafa Cortex line. Oh, what? Oh, yes. Yeah, this big, this basically is just a huge area with, uh, like, all the gems and stuff, so. Before you rise is a cathedral of diabolical genius. Scary, but in the wrong hands, this iceberg lair could do much goodness in the world. Of course, only I have the key. Observe. <laughs> Batteries are dead. Probably. Follow me. I know another way. <laughs> Crash. Or is just a mood for this whole new game? Yeah. So I guess we'll 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 go, we'll go until we find another save point. Because if we stop now, we're gonna lose like some. Progress. Which I. I. Don't want. Huh? Which you don't want to lose. Ugh! Yeah. Good. Yeah, I, I know. Um, like. The first area. Um. Oh, good. I'm convinced that. Uh. It's about time I added the circle under under your feet because of stuff like this. <laughs> Clearly, the they shadow played, um, the, the shadows in the PS One games were fine. I mean that too, but um, the circle in it's about time just. Um, well, I mean, considering yeah. the circle also covers above the death the death zone is pretty good. Yeah. But yeah, I was gonna say. Um, I think the first area you start in Insanity Island, and this like big open space, these all these both count as one level, because um, like the game, the way the game um, categorizes the different levels is if like you're in a new area and like it's a new set of gems, so like chapter or something. <laughs> but, yeah, pretty much. The song is so good, by the way. It's very calming. Pretty calming for what's supposed to be Cortex's limit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like, it, the game has like, in, like good intense music, good calm music, and all that. It's pretty good. Uh, uh, the final boss theme in this game slaps. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, the final boss theme in this game is one of the best uh, songs in the in the franchise, I think. I like, I said, it's, like I said, it's a lot harder than that has any right there. Yeah. Also, this is a... Um, if you mess this up, um, you probably won't get another chance to do this unless you die or something. And somehow I did that. Because <laughs> that's a, a lot harder than it looks. Depending on how much weight crashing after you jump. Yeah. 
Because, like, he's way heavier than he is. Than, well, at least than he looks like compared to the, uh, the He's definitely, but, he, he's yeah. definitely heavier than the, the trilogy, at least. Oh, but yeah. what about, uh, what about, um, uh, original Crash 4? Well, like, Rafa Cortex? Yeah. Oh, well, Rafa Cortex, he's, like, super floaty. Well, okay, that was, I thought Crash was heavier than Rafa Cortex. Um... Compared to the PS1 games. I don't know, honestly. Um, because I feel... I feel like... That the, the animations themselves look, like, a lot floatier than, the, than, like, the PS1 games. But I don't know if they... if he's, like... actually floatier. Like, he just... It's like... Rafa, Rafa Cortex just make, kind of feels off. <laughs> Oh god. Ah! Stop. Rip. I do remember, like, losing a bunch of lives in this in this little area because of stuff like this. Oh yeah, I guess in terms of movement as well, um, this game doesn't really have a regular slide jump. It it's more more or less used for. Um, just getting around faster, because like the slide jump doesn't isn't really um, it's not it's not like a high jump or anything anymore. It still counts as a jump. Don't get me wrong, but it's not really used for precise platforming. Uh, See if we can find the other two gems. You and Jason are gems, Harry. Thank uh, you. Ah! What? Oh. Yes. Oh no! Well, I mean, you didn't die. Well, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> this sequence looks like a Spyro loading screen. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I never thought about it like that. I'm just the one Spyro for. Hmm. Well, that's about as long as one as the one from Spyro 4 as well. Yeah, can we get a, can can we get a Spyro 4 2? Like <laughs> the the good yeah, a do over. Yeah, we need yeah just, um, a do over, reimagining something. I I, <laughs> I thought you were gonna say I thought you were gonna say we need to redo our let's play. No, <laughs> I'm not playing that game ever again. I said that. <laughs> you will when they remaster it. If it's good. If they remaster it and it's actually good now, then fair enough, but I am not playing the base release anymore. <laughs> uh, I think there's like... I, I recall there being like a secret... Yeah, like that. There's just... Like... Boxes down here. One day a developer is just going to have like a secret path. Oh. Or... Yeah, what? Yeah, that happens sometimes. <laughs> One day, the developer is just going to have a secret path, and it doesn't even leave any collectibles. Like, just a note saying, congrats for finding this. Oh, god damn it. I uh, empty room. And uh, empty room psych. I hate that. <laughs> I, I don't... I think this... You might have said this in, like, Ga the Galaxy LP, but I, <laughs> it's just like, you you just find a secret room or something, and then devs just say, good <laughs> good job finding this. Also, screw you. <laughs> you're not I'm getting... Get back. You're, you're getting jackal. <laughs> Yeah, reminds, me of the giant spot. reminds me of the hidden message in Metro Fusion. <laughs> Wait, there's a hidden message? Yeah, in Metro Fusion, um, after you get the giant spark and um, gravity suit, I believe, mm -hmm. right? Um, and uh, if, before you get to the fusion missile, um, you can do a set of um, special of uh, giant sparks to go a long way around. I know, I'm just gonna move on. I don't know where this last gem is. Yeah, if you do a set of giant sparks and go around, an area. What happens is, um, when you head back to the room where, um, uh, you're supposed to talk to Adam, what happens is there's a special message between Adam okay. and, like, somebody else telling you congratulations for making it over here. Okay, I think we can stop here. In fact, they even call it, I think it's actually one of the first times they actually called this giant spark out loud. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna save just in case. It's called Ice Climb, that's what the stage is called. Yeah, well, the the stage that would <laughs> I like how like three files <laughs> in this stage. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna load save just to make sure it actually works. 
It is raining outside. Also, Lewis and also Lewis and Xavier are sitting in the main chat. Okay, yeah, we can uh, stop real quick. We're just gonna just gonna make sure this actually loads to this point. Oh gosh. Yeah, we we can. Uh, yeah, we we can. Uh, uh, hopefully, make through make it through the rest of this. It's, it's just gonna be kind of stupid. I probably won't be doing any more uh, PS2 LPs after this unless I can figure something out. Okay, we're good. All right. So yeah, we're gonna stop here. Um, yeah, probably a lot more stupid disc errors, <laughs> but we'll we'll make do. We'll try we'll try to get through the game and uh, get as many gems as we can. So yeah, more uh, next time more. Ice climb, as you can see, and uh, jokes about Rafa Cortex. <laughs> see you guys next time. Good night, everyone.